it's maddie welcome or welcome back to my channel again i am not in the best kind of filming area i want to make these videos before i forget but i have like my lamp on and it's kind of bright so i'm doing my best to look at the camera as well as kind of keep a decent profile here but i wanted to quick show you how to change an auto soft 30 uh, infusion set for tandem now i kind of went into details on how you put the cartridge on how you install the cartridge how to change that out. So I'm gonna skip that part out here and then I'm just gonna show you how I insert the tubing and the insertion site or the infusion set into my body on my like kind of the middle of my thigh. Again, I'm not showing anything that's going to be inappropriate. I never would. But to me, that is the easiest spot to insert an AutoSoft 30. I've had issues with AutoSoft 30s in my abdomen. They tend to go too deep and it hits muscle for me. And then I end up having like hitting blood vessels and then there's blood inside my cannula or it gets to be a very painful or uncomfortable site. So I pretty much use AutoSoft 30s if I'm gonna be doing a long-term thigh site or I just wanna reach to different depths. Now keep in mind an AutoSoft 30 is gonna be a little different than an AutoSoft 90 for a couple of different reasons. One, the insertion uh, site will be at a 30 degree angle. That is why it is called an AutoSoft 30. Number two is that the insertion length is 13 millimeters long, so it is significantly longer than your typical six or nine millimeter cannula length for a 90 degree infusion You'll set. You'll need all the same materials that you're going to need for a, a basic infusion set change. You have your cartridge, your um, syringe body, your alcohol swab, your insulin, but the only thing that's gonna be a little bit different is there's two components to your infusion set. So AutoSoft 90s and XCs, at 90, they are 90 degrees, they're just two different names. I kind of explained the difference in a previous video, so go ahead and check that out if you'd like. But an AutoSoft 30 is going to come with two sets. It's gonna have the tubing in one bag right here, and then it's gonna have the inserter site or the cannula housing in a different site. So you kind of have to change it separately, meaning you're gonna insert the site and then hook the tubing up to the cartridge and then hook the tubing up to your infusion set. With the AutoSoft 90, you have more flexibility to either insert it all together, or you can separate it into inserting the site and then pulling the tubing apart and doing the tubing later like I usually do. So anyways, with that being said, I'm going to change camera angles and show you exactly how to insert one of these once I have my cartridge already installed for this new set. So the rest of this video, you're gonna see my thigh here. Okay, so Again, I'm not pulling up a whole bunch. This is probably about halfway up my thigh, right about here is where I would place the site. Um, you can go higher, you can go lower. Again, if I go higher, it's gonna be showing more things that I'm not going to show on YouTube, but you're gonna take apart this whole entire piece and it just removes like an AutoSoft 90. You're gonna peel the whole entire piece down and rotate this off. And then the AutoSoft 30, if you can't already tell, it has a piece of plastic that will come this way. So with these, they're a little bit different and they're a little more intimidating to put on than the 30, because you have, or a 90, excuse me, because the 30s have a little bit different setup for how you pull back the, um, the uh, actual needle inserter as well as the whole entire housing. So the first thing I do is you're gonna pull this, you're gonna have two pieces, you're gonna have more of a Y-shaped or a V-shaped piece where you're gonna pull. This is the cap that actually covers the housing so you kind of push to your side and then you're going to pull out until this part comes off so then you're going to see the entire needle uh, housing as well as um, the plastic piece or the sticker that will be stuck to your skin so then you're going to have like a little safety guard here if this doesn't pull off right away actually in order to pull this little guard off you're going to need to pull back on this and that should pop off. If it doesn't pop off all the way like this, you can just make sure it's removed. You have to remove this in order for it to go. The other key feature with this is it looks more like a ski, right? So it doesn't look like that nice round little shell that you put on, snap and push. This is a little bit more intimidating to look at. I personally like to line it up and not even look as it's inserting because to me, I get intimidated with the idea of shoving something 13 millimeters under my skin. So it kind of almost looks like a little ski slope. And what you want to do is what you can see exactly what's going on here. You can see that the paper and the needle are separated from each other. If you see that this piece of paper is butted right up against the actual needle, that's a no-go. Because what will happen is the needle and the paper will kind of get binded together. And then the inserter needle will actually not be able to go underneath the skin. 
So you can see that this is all separated and this is actually ready to go. You don't have to peel anything back. Some people will choose to peel this portion off. Um, I usually don't. I insert it and then I kind of peel both ends back. So in order to find a spot on here, I like to drive the needle down, kind of like down the grain, right? Kind of right in this area is where I'm looking at going. So usually you're going to place here, and I'm actually going to sit down now on my side so you can see it. So usually right about here is where I would put it. So you want to make sure that the skis, or like the little two, you know, U-shaped pieces, are nice and flat against your skin. Don't have it riding up. Don't have it riding down. Have it riding right nice and flat. This is all cocked and ready to go. In order for you to insert this, you have to squeeze both sides here and it will insert. So once I'm all set here, I'm going to squeeze and it will go in on the count of three. One, two, three. Okay, now it's all the way in. Now the key with this is to push your finger down, lift up and squeeze, and pull back, nice and slow. And pull at the same angle you inserted in. Remember, this is 30 degrees. And just like that, it's inserted. So this is the inserter needle. And you can see that the cannula is in. You can see here the cannula is fully inserted. I'm checking right now to make sure there's no bleeding happening and everything looks good. Um, the nice thing with the AutoSoft 30s, as I've mentioned in my AutoSoft 30 versus 90 video, is you can see exactly how that cannula looks under your skin. You can make sure it's not bent, twisted, turned, and this all looks really good. You can even lift this up slightly to kind of make sure that the site doesn't look inflamed. Is you're going to have to peel these off in order to get the site to stick. So I peel the back off first, and then you're going to put this here. And then you're going to peel this up. And then you're going to put it here. So just like that, a nice easy auto soft 30 has been inserted under my skin. This, I pull out the needle inserter and then I dispose of this in the garbage. So then you're going to open up your tube to your cartridge and then this will get hooked up to the infusion set. They automatically come with a little shower plug, which is super nice. You get a clean one every single time. The tubing will be wrapped in some paper. You can remove that. Another thing that's different is they always put a protect the cap on the actual like site. So I usually just pull that off. It usually pulls off pretty easy, just like that. And then this is how that's inserted. Now they're a little more difficult to pull out. Um, and also what you have to make sure is because the cannula length is 13 millimeters, at minimum, you need to dispense at least 0.7 units into the prime cannula fill. I do a unit no matter what, if it's a six uh, millimeter 90 or if it's a 13 millimeter 30. The reason why I do that is because if my blood sugar is a little bit higher from delay in changing my pump, or I'm worried about, you know, possibly having a higher blood sugar from my pump, 30 or a unit will push enough air out of that cannula and out of the tubing to make sure that I have enough um, infused insulin under my skin. So that's how it's changed. Is it all you have to, all I have to do now is hook this up to the cartridge and then pump the insulin through the tubing and then insert this here. There's no extra other step. You don't need to tell the pump, oh, I have a 30 degree site. Oh, I have a 90 degree site. That's all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this real simple and easy way to insert an AutoSoft 30. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I post as often as I can about type 1 diabetes plus more. Please excuse my screw here, but please stay tuned for more videos. I'm super excited to be creating a lot more content now that I've had some time off of work and things like that, but I still plan to continue my content creation even through as I work as I already have been. So until next time for another video, take care, God bless. Be kind, spread positivity, and be thankful, and I love you all so much. Uh, thanks for all your support as usual. You're always in my heart, thoughts, and prayers. So um, continue to support me, and as I will continue to support you in any way, shape, or form that I can. So thank you guys again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.